Science teacher in Gross Eel Middle School facing a possible 90 days in jail accused of assaulting a student in an incident that began over a student playing with a light switch. Louis Lafayette was arraigned on Friday and released on a thousand dollars bond. But what exactly happened in the classroom? Jason Colthorpe talked with some of the students who were there. Students and parents have seen the headline. Teacher hits student. Teacher charged with assault and battery. But one student who was in the classroom when it happened tells us the crime does not fit the charge. It wasn't anything abusive. Zachary Bast and his twin brother were in Mr. Lafayette's science class when the alleged assault happened. He, was, he kept uh, turning it off and on repeatedely. Mr. Lafayette told him to stop once and he didn't stop. Like he just like pushed him away kind of. I was like surprised because I didn't think he would actually like hurt someone or do something to them because I never seen him like abuse somebody or do something when I was in class. Well, all of my kids have had Mr. Lafayette as a teacher and they've had no issues. They've uh, enjoyed him as a teacher and I'm just concerned that this might be being blown out of proportion. Lafayette stood mute during his arraignment and remains on paid leave from the district. While many think this is overblown, I asked one parent if it's ever okay for a teacher to put their hands on a student. In today's age, for their own safety, probably not. Do I think that if they're not really being abusive or hurting a child, do I really think it's that can be that bad? It, in some cases, no. Now, a couple of years ago, Mr. Lafayette was fired after he bonked a student in the head with a textbook. He was eventually reinstated, but some parents say maybe that incident should have signaled a pattern. In Gross Eel, Jason Colthorpe, Local 4.